title of this video was a little strong. It sounded good. So relax if you use a training mask, you should not be made fun out of. I go hard in the thumbnails. But research does not support the use of an elevation or altitude mask for reciprocating the unique benefits of altitude training. And I'm gonna briefly recap those as I have discussed them before. And I'm also in this video going to discuss the application of an elevation mask towards resistance training, which I think is actually an under-discussed topic. So if I do seem a little grumpy today, it's not because Tess Holiday called me a clown. Already have the mask, that's a win-win. Tess calling me a clown did not debunk obesity science in relation to disease and mortality. I'm a little grumpy because I was hoping to see Ben Askren fight for more than five seconds. Now, can we just get serious for a minute? I cannot confirm nor deny whether the elevation mask was inspired by the film not fiction. And people use the Bane joke far too often with the elevation mask. That is not a joke. This is. And so altitude training in itself is a legit training protocol, a hypoxic environment, meaning where there is a deprivation of oxygen. And this environment stimulates the body to create more red blood cells and red blood cells transport oxygen around the body. Long story short and simplified, this can help with someone having more energy for physical activities. And this is ubiquitously used by athletes for sports performance, more specifically endurance activities, requiring more energy output over a longer period of time. And you can think of this environment as having thinner air or a decreased partial pressure of oxygen. But the training mask does not reciprocate the benefits of altitude training because altitude training has to be a chronic process. There are different ways that people train at altitude. For example, living at altitude and training at sea level, the live high, train low method. The reason they do this is to live at altitude chronically to get those benefits that I just talked about, but they train for their the hour or two training sessions at sea level so they can perform more intensely within their sessions. Because when you do train at altitude, this can decrease your ability to actually perform a session. And there are other protocols where people will actually also live high and train high. However, the key point here is that putting on a training mask for one or or two hours or however long your session is, is an acute short-term process. And that does not reciprocate the chronic and long-term effects of being at altitude. So we're gonna play a game called Pure Ball Fit. For the fitness addict subscribers who may be watching this, you can substitute the F in fit for the letters SH. And there is no real structure to this game apart from me putting completely nonsensical marketing claims in relation to an elevation mask on your screen with the caption, that's bullfit. Mmm. Looks like bullfit to me. Now, ain't that some bullfit? Still bullfit. Nope. Still bullfit. Grade A bullfit right there. So thank you to Kevin from YouTube channel Pure Bullfit. Kevin is a former Marine, a military veteran who is inserting common sense into fitness YouTube. He has a new channel. He's growing very fast. He's putting out some very good stuff. And so I have linked Kevin down below in the description box. I've also linked Pure Bullfit up here. Just remember, he's not as good looking as me. There is an application of the training mask to perhaps conditioning. Some people may want to use it as a different tool or an additional tool to create a different stress on your body, which can, as it is a restrictive breathing tool. And so there are applications to restricting your breathing, working your breathing harder, your diaphragm, and creating a greater stress. And so there may be an application to conditioning, but again, it's vastly under-researched. But if you are someone that's performing conditioning sessions, perhaps for your sport, Sport, you're not absolutely off the wall to be doing that. So you don't need to be made fun of. Just be aware of what the training mask is and what it isn't. And again, some people may liken it to a psychological challenge, training under this increased stress. Now, when you have anything like altitude training, which does create a benefit towards, towards oxygen transport around the body, there will be shysters who put out juicy vitamins to replicate this effect and they have done this successfully. If you want more information about these juicy vitamins, ask this man. But to be fair, although the training mask is under-researched and the pieces of research we have do not support many of the marketing claims made by the people selling it, my favorite Instagram playboy does use it and he invented the bike in a sauna. <laughs> Sounds legit. And so in relation to resistance training, 
Andre et al. 2018 looked at an elevation mask in relation to the total repetitions performed during, during a leg press and squat. Now, what they found is that there was a decrease in total repetitions performed in these exercises when people were wearing these training masks. Also, these people had an increase in perceived exertion, which is an auto-regulated method of intensity. Very simply, that means how hard people think they were working during a set increased when they were using the mask. They also found that there was not a hypoxic environment created. And indeed, the researchers conclude that the elevation mask essentially decreased training volume, which is not a good thing if you are resistance training, for example, for muscle growth. And then we have a study in 2017, which actually showed that training volume was not affected. Pesky research. And that's why we, we shouldn't just take one piece of research as gold and we, and we have to compare research. It did, however, show that velocity decreased with, with the lifts performed. And so most certainly more research is needed in relation to the training mask with conditioning and also resistance training. But the research we have is not good for the elevation mask. And so to break this down very simply for you, whenever you have anything like this, really if it's a training mask or something else which is being put out there, such as Thanos' twin brother, we have to be clear about our specificity, the purpose for what we are doing, the specific goals we have for our training. So with the training mask, if you are using the training mask during weight lifting for muscle growth or strength, stop. If you're using the training mask because you think it reciprocates altitude training and the benefits with red blood cells, oxygen transport, stop. If you are using the training mask during conditioning sessions for your sport, perhaps as some sort of extra stress uh, with your breathing, that is more of a valid application, but still very heavily under-researched. So this is James Linker, Shredder Sports Science. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. What do you think about that? I turned myself into a pickle! I'm pickle rich!